Hi, I'm Brad from SubID and TuneTrack Music. I'd like to show you a new software tool called EasyPlayer Pro. EasyPlayer Pro is a MIDI engine plugin that lets you organize and preview all the MIDI on your hard drive by importing or dragging folders into the EasyPlayer Pro window. The EasyPlayer Pro interface has multi-track arranging capabilities. You can arrange, edit, and fuse your MIDI into new arrangements with the ability to drag and drop to your favorite host application. EasyPlayer Pro works with all major host applications on the market and can also be used standalone with TuneTrack Solo to make beats. It can also be used to translate MIDI content between common drum sampler formats using map wrappers. EasyPlayer Pro intelligently extracts and splits percussive MIDI files into kit pieces such as kick, snare, or bongos, to name but a few. You can combine elements from different MIDI files and add them to your own creations. Time stretch separate MIDI clips or kit piece patterns and add accented cues to your beats with the accent tool. Adjust velocity, length, or transpose single clips or entire tracks to create more dynamic variations in your groups. Control and trigger sequences live with the MIDI hardware learn functions. And that's just a few of the many features we'll look at over the next few minutes. Let's jump right in and show you EasyPlayer Pro working inside of TuneTrack Solo. After that, I'll show you EasyPlayer Pro working in a popular sequencing environment like Logic Pro. Let's get started. Here, we have TuneTrack Solo, TuneTrack's standalone program that allows you to load up TuneTrack samplers such as Superior Drummer and Easy Drummer. Let's open the program and choose Easy Drummer as our sound source. This allows us to hear what we are going to do in EasyPlayer Pro. You can choose EasyPlayer Pro from the EasyPlayer menu at the top of the screen here. EasyPlayer Pro is basically divided into two sections, the browser window at the top and the arranger at the bottom. You can toggle between hiding the browser and displaying it by pressing this button here. You can also drag between the two sections and adjust it to the size you like. As you can see, EasyPlayer Pro comes with a generous amount of MIDI files played by David Fingers Haynes and Pierre Michelson. Let's double click on this one, or we can click once and press play. Right-clicking the mouse also acts as a start-stop. You can quickly audition MIDI files and even their kit pieces. For example, when we listen to this file, we hear the whole drum kit. Now, when we click on its kit pieces, we can hear the individual components that make up this drum kit. You can use these kit pieces as building blocks for your music, allowing you to recombine patterns from different grooves to form exciting new beats. Not only does EasyPlayer Pro come with some great MIDI files, you can add your own to the list. You can add a path to your MIDI files on your hard drive from the menu or simply drag and drop them in. Give the MIDI file a name and it's ready to audition. Notice that EasyPlayer Pro is able to distinguish between the different drum hits and separate them into different events or kit pieces. One of the great things about EasyPlayer Pro is that even if the MIDI files you are importing don't conform to the general MIDI standard, you can choose the source mapping and EasyPlayer Pro will automatically map the right notes to the right sounds. Just choose which program created the MIDI file in the first place and you'll have the right sounds playing back in seconds, meaning all of your MIDI groups will finally work with any sampler on the market. Some of the other features found in the browser section include these two playback parameters. You can transpose the MIDI files you're auditioning. This is great if the rhythm is right, but you want to check out other sounds on the kit. These three buttons control whether or not the MIDI files play regular time, half time, or double time. If you want to hear the MIDI file's original tempo, just click the metronome button here. And last but not least, moving the velocity knob adds or subtracts MIDI velocity to or from the MIDI file to alter the dynamics of the groove, softer to the left, harder to the right. We could cover a few more features in the browser, but how about we jump into the arranger section?
The Arranger is very simple to use yet packed full of features to get the job done. We can drag and drop different drum patterns from the browser into a track, then play them back in the order we've put them in. We can have as many tracks as we like and create new ones easily. Notice that we have three different types of play buttons. You've already seen me use this play button to play MIDI files in the browser. There are play buttons for each track. And we also see an extra play button down here at the bottom left. Let me explain these. First, let's create a loop in the first track by clicking and dragging here. Press play. We're going to drag another pattern and drop it into this track. Let's loop this track and press play. Notice that we can have two tracks playing different drum patterns with different loop points. We can have a lot of fun with this. Now, let's press this play button down here to trigger both tracks at the same time. Think of this as the global play button and these as individual track play buttons. It's easy to figure out the other controls on the track. The record button lets you record MIDI input on the track. This includes currently playing tracks so it can be used to fuse your MIDI together. The solo and mute buttons solo and mute the track. The track info button gives us instant access to information like the track's MIDI channel, mapping, sync setting, etc. Each track has its own dynamics knob to raise or lower the track velocity. Again, softer to the left, harder to the right. You can change the name of your track here and set the track's output mapping in case your grooves are using a different drum mapping than the instrument you are currently playing back. Editing functions for the track are here. You can add and delete tracks and we'll talk about layers in just a minute. When you move grooves around, you can have them snap to beat positions to ensure your music stays in time. Here, we have a track with its snap set to quarter notes. Let's change this to whole notes. Or you can turn snap to grid off and freely move the grooves around. Copying a groove is easy. Click drag while holding down command on the Mac or control on the PC. To resize the beginning or the end of a groove, use the resize tool. If you resize larger than the groove, you can copy after or before it. To delete a groove, use the Delete tool. If you want to undo or redo the changes you've made, click these buttons here. When you're moving grooves around, the default action is that the grooves replace other grooves. When you change this to Insert and move it now, you can see that the groove I'm moving is inserted between these two smaller grooves. The Transpose option allows you to transpose selected grooves up or down. It's great for changing the sound of a groove from one drum to another. Velocity lets you change the softness of the selected grooves to alter the dynamics between grooves. And in the corner here we find Time Signature, which changes the time signature for the individual track. That's right, you can have multiple time signatures in the arranger to create some interesting polyrhythms. Once you've assembled the perfect take, you can save it back into the browser above. Just drag and drop and give it a name. 